quadrajet small black Chevrolet videos, just like the two barrel intake manifold and the 783 Holly intake. This is the third version of a cast iron intake that you're going to find on a small black Chevy. They also make an aluminum version of this uh, quadrajet, as they do an aluminum version of the two barrel, which we don't do too much of, but I'll touch on the aluminum one a little bit. As with all small block Chevrolets, the uh, most important thing is to get the best intake manifold you can on the motor. doesn't make a lot of sense to run a stock, stock intake and have a lot of porting work done other, other places in the motor. It makes more sense to get the best intake manifold you can on there first and then get into the cylinder heads. Just like with the exhaust system, we always say pipes before porting, which means on the exhaust side of the motor, Concentrate on your exhaust system. Get a good exhaust system on with good mandrel bent two and a half inch pipes and then get into porting the manifolds. It makes no difference to go the other way. So these are the three offerings that we have in the cast iron intake manifold. It's going to quadrant just style for the small black Chevy. Like with the two barrel intakes, um, the, the, from the outside they all look absolutely stock. That's one criteria we have with all of our manifolds is they must look stock on the outside when you're on the motor. Um, one of them is an acid ported intake, the other one is a stage one, and the one is a fully modified. The difference between a stock intake manifold and a fully modified intake manifold, which is this one, on a motor with a four broke carburetor, flat cap, and cam headers is easily 40 horsepower. We've seen in excess of 50 horsepower difference. This fully modified intake manifold is going to perform like an Edelbrock RPM performer and it's stuck with a stock look. This intake manifold of course has a modified plenumary on it instead of two small holes and two large holes. It has two oval shaped plenumaries. Quite noticeable if the carburetor is pulled. And this intake manifold has had holes bored in it. Four two and a half inch diameter holes, two on the top, two on the bottom. This one actually has the casting numbers reinstalled, so from the outside, as part of our criteria, you can't tell anything. So this, this is 100% ported, extensively modified intake manifold, best cast iron small black Chevy intake you can get. Uh, on the other side of the coin, this is an acid ported intake. So the acid ported intake manifolds are designed for applications, drag race, circle track, and mud hole, whichever where you're not supposed to modify the intake and the intake to inspect it. So we keep the plenumary of stock, two small holes, two large holes. We do a little bit of internal porting work to the intake manifold and then we do the chemical treating. We wind up removing two to three pounds of material. This intake sometimes is a 10, 12 horsepower gain, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depends on the engine. This intake manifold will withstand just about any inspection you throw at it because on the top it's stock and on the bottom it's stock. So that would be an acid ported intake. In between those we have a stage one intake and the stage one intake is ported. It's a ported manifold. It has everything that the fully modified one does except for the work through the axis holes. It does have this modified plenumary on it. It's casting numbers stay stock. Nothing done to the casting numbers or anything external on the intake. We do modify the plenum area from the two small holes, two large holes, and the two oval shaped plenum areas. And then, of course, we notch the center divider. The interesting thing about this intake manifold is that when we go to trade shows and we have it sitting out on the counter, people look at it when it's up like this and they say, well, where's the modified intake? Because they're trained that the intake port should be big and shiny. Well, that's not the way we can do it on a circle track application. We want the intake ports to be just a little bit smaller than a cylinder head port, so we keep these a stock size. We don't enlarge the port openings on these at all from the stock size. Uh, these ports get done on a CNC machine first, then we hand finish them, and then we do some shot peening to put some texture back in into the manifold to make it look more stock. This intake manifold with a two-barrel carburetor is easily going to be a 20 to 25 horsepower difference on a, on a decent uh, small block uh, motor. Now, a lot of times you'd be better off with a two-barrel intake on a heavy car, 3,200-pound car, limited compression, limited uh, valve lift, than you would a four-barrel version. Sometimes smaller is better. Oftentimes it is if you want to come off the corner and you have to pass somebody by the flagman. So those are the three offerings that we have in a quarter jet intake manifold. There is an aluminum version, and the 
aluminum version we do not fully pour it. We do some chemical work on the aluminum version for some circle track and some drag race applications. With all of the intake manifolds we can modify your intake. So if you have a Ford or a Chrysler or whatever intake manifold and you're looking for somebody to port it, uh, we can certainly do that. We can certainly do uh, your small block uh, Chevy uh, cast iron or aluminum intake manifolds also. And again, remember, get the best intake manifold you can on the motor before you get into porting other areas. That's going to serve you better and keep you running up front.